Konnichiwa everyone! Right now we're outside the Takao Sanguchi station, which is the station you need to get to if you want to hike up the main route of Mount Takao. We've hiked Mount Takao before in 2019 and I've been wanting to go back ever since because I had so much fun. So this time around we decided to take you guys with us. My name is Hannah and this is What You Hannah Do, Mount Takao. Woo! What you Hannah do, what you Hannah do when they come for you? You guys can actually get to the starting point either by bus or by car too, but the easiest way is to get on the Keio line from Shinjuku. It's only one train and it takes about 50 minutes. Plus, you can avoid a lot of traffic. There are eight routes up Mount Takao with different hiking difficulties. The main hiking route is called the Omotesando Trail. Most of the route is paved, so you can just wear your normal sneakers. Just make sure you wear sneakers that are okay to get dirty. And then if you want to take a more scenic, more adventurous route, there are others you can choose from. And if you don't want to hike or climb so much, you can take either the cable car or the chairlift going up to around 400 meters or so, and then hike up the rest of the way. Today, we've decided to go up the cable car and then take the Omotesando Trail going up to the peak, of course, passing through the more popular Sites, and of course, eating some snacks. Walk to the cable car and up Mount Takao is actually really pretty. So right now I'm walking to the cable car station. I think it would be best to go up Mount Takao during a weekday instead of a weekend since it can get pretty crowded. This is the Motesando Trail going up to Mount Takao. And that over there is the station. So this is Takao Tozan Station where you'll be taking the cable car. Where we'll be taking the cable car. So no problem, there's an English option. We're gonna get a one-way ticket for two people. So for us, it's 980 yen. Electronic money, or you can also pay through cash. We're using the normal Suica card. And then those are our tickets. Awesome. The cable cars come every 15 minutes, so don't worry if you miss one. The Takao Tozan Railway is the steepest railway in Japan, measuring in at an angle of 31 degrees. It began operating in 1927, so that means it's been running for about 95 years. That's amazing! There are two cable cars that run on this railway. The Momijiko that we're on in this video, and the Aobago, the one on the screen right now. They run at the same time, so whenever they pass each other like this, people absolutely love it. The whole cable car ride takes only about 5 minutes, and the scenery is pretty cool too. It's definitely a hit with the kids. Oh, and also, the railway is pet friendly. They have pet carriers you can use at the entrances of the railway. Just simply return it after the ride. The cable car took us up to 472 meters, which they say is about halfway to the peak if you're taking the Omotesando trail. Wow, we've already got a pretty nice view up here. It's a little cloudy today, unfortunately, so I don't think we'll be able to see the best ideal view, but I think that works in our favor because it's pretty hot today. And a lot of people go to Mount Takao for other reasons other than the scenic views. So we're currently at 472 meters high and the peak of Takao is at around 599 point something meters up. So let's check out the view. Up there, there's an observation deck and what they call the beer garden where, of course, they serve beer which we may or may not go to later. We're not completely sure yet. It kind of depends on how the day pans out. Around the station, they have some goods you can buy, some snacks as well. They also have a toilet in this area, a restaurant, some places you can sit, and some more snacks. Ooh, I just saw my favorite snack. <laughs> 
I need to get some of that later. So on a good day, we would have been able to see Tokyo Skytree and Tokyo Tower, but it's quite cloudy. <laughs> Right now we're walking towards Monkey Park and Botanical Park. So they have a lot of different species in there. And they also have around 50, around 50 or so Japanese macaques. And if you don't know what macaques are, they're also quite famous for the monkeys that love, love bathing in onsens in Nagano. So we've decided to go in. It's 430 yen per person. They have vending machine style payment again. I'm just gonna put in some money, click on two, and get our tickets. <laughs> what is this? They're welcoming us. They say, Irashaimasen. <laughs> <gasps> Monkeys! Whoa! <laughs> oh man! Hi, friend! Whoa, there are a lot of them. According to one of the keepers, there are more than 80 monkeys here, including six baby ones. Whoa, why are you giving me the side eye? Are you guys okay here? Are you looking for food? Whoa, like their hands. It looks, it looks so much like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Angry. Ooh, so they have a roof entrance, so we're gonna try to go up there. Ooh. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I love the one that's on the swing. Yeah. It's pretty hot, isn't it? Take a 100 yen. And then we're just gonna take one. I wonder what this is made of. <laughs> so it kind of looks like a cookie or a biscuit. Here we go. Yay! Whoa! He's eating it, that one. <laughs> ah! Okay, so now we've finished with the monkey park. We're gonna go through the wild plant garden. So this is the grass garden. Apparently approximately 300 kinds of wild flowers are here in Mount Takao. So we're gonna go and see that. Plants thrive in different seasons. So we weren't really able to see all the plants in perfect display but these are the plants that I got interested in. It's a lovely little wild plant garden with tons of different plants, and we even saw and heard some wildlife. Unfortunately, we were too slow to film it. Maybe next time. So we just finished with the monkey park and the wild plant garden, so we're gonna continue up our trail to the peak of, oh no, first to Yakuen Temple. Let's go. I got myself the grilled mochi and he got some shaved ice. Not exactly sure which flavors he chose, but shaved ice was definitely a much better choice in this heat. I know it's a little ridiculous because it's hot right now and I'm eating grilled mochi, but this is my favorite and I had to have it. Whew, here we go. Itadakimasu. 
Oh, mm. it's so good. Mm. After enjoying our snacks, we continued making our way to Yakoin Temple. So we've just reached Yakoin Temple. It's one of the Japanese World Heritage Sites. We're gonna get to see some Tengu, or one of their deities. So this is a Shinto Buddhist shrine, and it's one of the most visited temples here in Tokyo. This is actually the Shittenomon Gate, and four of what they call the Heavenly Kings are on both sides of the gate. And here we have two different types of Tengu. The Tengu are Yokai, or spiritual supernatural beings. It is said that they came from India first, and then to China, and then to Japan. That over there is a Karasu Tengu, or Crow Tengu. And they have a beak-like structure of their face and they can fly. In China, these supernatural beings are actually quite scary. They torment people, they kidnap people since they're very strong and they can fly. But over the years, their image has softened, especially here in Japan. And they are now seen more of like protective figures of the mountains and forests here in Japan. In this area, there are a few other smaller temples and some places where you can get some local goods and also omamori, which are prayers or sacred inscriptions inside these beautiful and colorful pouches. As we go further, we reach Niomon Gate, which is the entrance to Yakuoin Temple. Yep, there are a lot of stairs, lots and lots of stairs. Yakuoin Temple was established in year 744, on the orders of Emperor Shomu as a base for Buddhism, it was later restored in year 1375 and is now known for both its devotion to Tengu and the Buddhist practice of Shugendo, or mountain asceticism. The temple grounds in Mount Takao are in different levels and they take you up the mountain. Next, we're going up to see the Izuno Gongen Dou Hall. The main deity, Izuno Daigongen, who was considered as a guardian deity by many, many warlords during the 16th century, is enshrined in this hall. All I can say is that the shrine is so colorful and so beautifully detailed. Okay, so we just passed through the yeah, Akoin Temple and now we're going to go up to the top of Mount Takao and it's gonna take us 15 minutes from here. Oh, just right near the top, there is a place where you can actually drink the water. And if you want to cool off, you can also use it to wash your hands and your face. That feels so good. Ah. I really hope I don't get a farmer's tan after this. <laughs> Yay! We're at the peak! We made it! <laughs> We're gonna go check out the view. It's not a very difficult hike at all, especially if you're taking the main route. So it's gonna take you about 19 minutes to get to the peak. Ah. I would still consider this a nice view, even though it's cloudy. I can still make out the different mountains and I can still see the depth. But on a very good and clear day, you should be able to see Mount Fuji like this. At the peak of Mount Takao, there are a couple of things you can do, but mostly people rest, chill, eat here, and generally just have a good time with whoever they're with. It's quite a spacious peak too, so there's lots of areas you can sit. There are two restaurants that serve udon and soba, and of course ice cream and shaved ice, and also the Takao Visitor Center. So we just took a 20 minute break just to get out of the heat a little bit. We are gonna take you with us to a more scenic and adventurous trail. We're gonna take the fourth trail and it has this small suspension bridge just to kind of show you what it's like when you're not going through this paved route. There is a warning sign that it is a little slippery. I'm wearing shoes with 
pretty good grip. It should be fine. <laughs> Here we go. So I wouldn't say that this route is as rugged as the routes we take in our other hikes, but it feels closer to that than taking the paved routes, of course. This route is quite smooth, actually, and the places that are a little bit steeper or sloped, they have stairs. It's very pleasant. <laughs> Not difficult at all. So now we just hit the small suspension bridge. Here we are. Now let's go through the bridge. Ta-da! So actually, we've been here before, so I know it's incredibly safe. <laughs> As you saw, the younger ones were jumping on it earlier, so it's definitely fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you can definitely see the stream from here a lot more. Oh my gosh, that made me feel like I came straight out of Jurassic Park. Love it. So we can take this trail straight back down and from the top of Mount Takao, it's only gonna take us about 40 minutes. But we want to grab some beer and maybe some snacks. So we're going to go back to the Omoto Sande Trail and then we're going to go down from there. Hey. So we went to the beer garden, the one near the observatory. We wanted to stay there and I'm pretty sure the view is much better there, but we would have to stay two hours because it's more like a buffet type of restaurant. So we decided to check out this restaurant instead. They also have a very nice view. We're gonna go get some drinks here instead. The restaurant is called Ju Ichomechaya. It was 550 yen or $4 each for the beer. And we also ordered what they call Sansai Moriawase which is just an assortment of wild herbs for 700 yen or around $6. That one is takinoko or baby bamboo. I love takinoko, so this was really good. The next two, I actually don't know what they are, but they were both very refreshing. This one is both delicately savory and sour, and this one was very aromatic and earthy. It was delicious. <laughs> on to the next. We're gonna go down the mountain from now on and then we're gonna eat. Earlier, when we first went up, we took a cable car. Now we're gonna take a chairlift going down because we really wanted to show you the difference between the two. They're the same price. Personally, I love the chairlift more, but you decide. Hi. I really love this. So personally, I like this better than the cable car because you are so much closer to nature. If you are afraid of heights though, it might not be the best for you because it's pretty steep and there ooh, and there are no seat belts. It's just you basically sitting on a moving chair. Very much like when you're on ski slopes, on a ski lift. I'm not exactly sure what you call it, but I absolutely love this. I'm having so much fun right now. I love the air. I love the little thrill that it gives. Tell me, would you be willing to ride this chairlift or would you prefer to be safer in the cable car? Let me know in the comments down below. Hi. 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 <laughs> See you. 
Okay, now we are off the mountain and we are now near Takao Sanguchi Station. But we heard that this area is actually very famous for their soba. So we're gonna grab some really cold soba noodles and then we're gonna go home. Let's eat. We chose to go to Takahashiya, a soba restaurant with high ratings and reviews, less than 30 seconds away from the cable car station. Perfect. It's a very traditional restaurant with very Japanese dishes. The menu is written in both Japanese and English, plus it has pictures, so that makes it very easy to navigate. The prices are quite reasonable too, considering it's super close to the entrance of the main route to Mount Takao. I ordered the tempura soba, and it looks so, so good. He ordered the kamonegi soba, which is soba with duck and scallions. He enjoyed this as well. And for the table, we ordered tsukemono, a variety of Japanese pickled veggies. My favorite. This looks amazing. And my favorite maitake tempura is also on this plate. Itadakimasu. So I'm gonna put some of the onion leeks in the soba soup, and I'm gonna get some wasabi as well. I'm a big wasabi girl. This is adorable. Put the wasabi in there, and I'm just gonna mix it all together to make a very beautiful dipping sauce. Get some of my soba. Wow, this looks like it was made here. Fantastic. Here we go. Mm. Mm, so good. I forgot the seaweed or the nori, so I'm gonna take that, put it on top of my soba. Mm, this is big. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna eat this, but this is maitake mushroom or hen of the woods. Heavenly. I'm gonna try some of the tsukimono. This is the radish one. Mm. That was pickled in salt. Very simple. Carrot. Ooh, that really brought out the sweetness of the carrot. Try the cucumber. Also lightly pickled in salt. Delicious. Very refreshing. I'm not sure what this is. It's maybe another type of radish. Ooh, very strong flavors. Yeah, most probably pickled in miso or mm. soybean paste. Next, I'll try some of the shrimp tempura or ebi tempura. Mm. This batter is something else. Mm. I can definitely understand why this restaurant has very high ratings. This is shishito pepper. Yum. Mm. And I think this is dried persimmon. I mean, persimmon tempura, which I've never had before. But this is very, very new to me. It's dried persimmon tempura. It's quite sweet. Lovely palate cleanser after everything. Delicious. Obliterated. It was delicious. 10 out of 10. I highly recommend this place. Gochisosama deshita. So yeah, that was it. That was our day at Takao adventure. We started the hike at 10 o'clock and just enjoyed ourselves. And now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's the perfect time for you just to get home and rest when you get to maybe your hotel or your Airbnb. I recommend going up to Mount Takao, especially if you're visiting Tokyo. If you wanna just get away from that concrete jungle, Takao is a perfect place to go to. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click like down below. And if you wanna see more content about Japan, you know what to do. So until next time, Janet, and see you in the next video. Woo! Oh, we also went to the Takao 599 Museum before going home. It's a museum with really cool displays 
like taxidermies of the animals and insects that live in Takao, as well as the plant life that can be found there. It's free too, so go check it out. Arika, thank you for watching!